sneaky CBA responding to people. Sneaky's literally legit the worst at responding to people. <laughs> Maybe. And that's coming from me. See, do you do the thing where you mentally are like, yeah, I'll just respond later and then you never do? Yeah, pretty much. I see, I see. Lena does uh -huh. that too. Uh-huh. No, he doesn't. He I, just I think willfully it will respond, does not respond. But I'm just too nervous to respond. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're like, he gets off on that shit. He's like, yeah, I have power over them. They want me to respond and I'm not going to. Yeah, that's for sure it's going on. It is. Yep, yep, indeed. You'd rather think it that is. he's a what malicious are you lying guy? About? <laughs> you think you think that he's that he's downright evil like that? Yes, he's a mm. fucking rat. Mm. What if it's just the fear of having a conversation? How is a conversation <laughs> scary? No, I get that though. <laughs> what do I you mean? Get that. <laughs> Me just wouldn't get I, it. Sorry. I, I don't understand how you would get that. See, you don't seem like that kind of guy. I mean, okay, it's not like the fear of conversation. It's just like having to talk rather than not talk i guess no i get you because like I, I just like don't, i don't even want to like open the can of, worms of, of getting into a combo then having to end the conversation like i always like awkwardly yeah. like okay i'm gonna go do this other thing now bye yeah and like you don't have to do that though yeah you just I mean, respond it's, when you see it it's not reasonable i'll, I'll tell you that mm, no I'm, I'm just shitting my pants <laughs> and crying I mean, have you guys had conversations with people who get like super fucking upset if you don't respond right away or something? Like, <laughs> no, but I just feel guilty, bro. It's like it's part of like why? You know, I don't know, bro. <laughs> you're living your life. You're doing shit. There's there's not like a, some fucking expectation you respond immediately. I feel like I have a but like never battery, responding right? also and like the, and on the battery other. gets drained hella fast, and it never recharges. It's just permit zero. <laughs> you guys are fucking insane. Ah, eh, you wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it. Sorry, it's not I'm reasonable. Just, I'm just too used to responding to people. Me, it's just too social. I wouldn't even say that. Whoa, Berserker is crazy. Oh, that movement, dude. Ow! Which movement? Oh! That's gonna be minus one wave, fully. Was that greedy of Berserker? How did that happen? He face checked the bush instead of. He has, he has a button that's on like a two second. Cool, no, a one second cooldown oh! that he can check the bush with. Oh, wow. Dude, Sniper, Sniper is solo killing everybody. Everyone. Dude, we had the same thought. He's he's legit solo killing everyone, yeah. He's playing so well. Is he truly him? What if HR is just broken? But he is kind of him, and and yesterday the more, more impressive than solo killing impact is how he played that one fight. I truly think that's a sign of like a wait, talented wait. guy. Oh, oh, oh my God! River, are you gonna ult? Wow! Why did River take so long to ulti? Could he could he have saved him if he used it? I don't know. It seemed like probably it was real close. It, it seems like if he immune the the bard stun with it, he he probably could have saved him right because that, that's two second double stun. He could have just phased through it. God, I feel like I feel like um, Budge has not been very impactful in their games. Even even in the games that they're winning, <laughs> the first game of the of the season, he had a pretty good one where he was playing Rumble, and he like walked bot lane and ulted. And then he TP top, and I thought that was a great play, but ever since then, I haven't seen him do too much. Yeah. There's definitely been, like, NC9's losses, Fudge is catching flack. I don't know if yeah. it's justified or not. Hard to say. Top lane's a, a weird role in that way. Like, he definitely hasn't been having, like, some standout, like, great performances. I don't, I don't think he's been horrible either. Oh my god, bro. I have such a fucking vivid memory. I, I, I've told the story before of, of Dexter playing with Seraph, and we're in a Korean boot camp. And Dexter is playing Elise. Seraph's playing Cassid in top versus Renekton. Unplayable matchup. Cassid in top versus Renekton. I don't know what, what Seraph's thinking. Yeah. How did okay, that like, matchup happen? I, I, I don't know. Okay, but, but Seraph's playing blind Cassid, pick Cassid in top. Yeah, I think so. I literally think so. And, and Dexter ganks top, and they get 1v2'd. Obviously, it's pre six Cassidy and yeah, Elise so versus Renekton. They're gonna lose, so they got one v two. Seraph is 
mega. They're both monster tilted for the rest of the scrim block. And at the end, Seraph says, never getting top again. <laughs> like in broken English, he says, never getting top again. And, <laughs> and this is like, how is that That's my actually fault? toxic. <laughs> but like, was that the end of it? Like, they didn't say like, fucking... Why the hell are you picking Cassidy? <laughs> no, dude, it, it was just like, just don't come to up again, bro, bitch. This is like season. This is like season three or four, or some shit. It must be super early on. Like nothing that we talk about in the review is productive whatsoever. <laughs> like all of it is just ego and blaming each other. <laughs> Damn, you suck balls. I mean, I think that can be productive as long as you come out ahead of the argument, as long as you leave the other person feeling like shit and defeated, angry. Yeah, yeah. And then, it, like, if you can leave the argument acting really smug and just, like, doing things to make them feel bad, then, like, I wouldn't call that a waste of time. <laughs> My man, you truly understand what it means to be a pro. I think it's time for your return. <laughs> Holy shit. Static shit. Uh... Oh. And anyone uh -oh. see that portal? Micro the micro penis? Oh, Sniper gets out. He baits the engage hard as fuck. Oh. Jojo's going in. He's going to try to get Sniper. Vulcan Can he get him? Complete yeah. whiff. Oh, he's okay. Gonna... No, the oh, he got him. Him. Oh, oh, he got him. He got him. He got him. him. All right, what, what's Dude, my game Sniper time? timed that W insane. He timed it to cancel the fucking R2 from Akali. Wait, was, it, was, it was Q, not, not W. Right? I'm pretty sure it was W. I'd have to watch again. I saw W, but I could be wrong. Game time? That's never happened before, but I feel like it could happen once. I'm eventually. so glad that you're open to 0 02, 0 03, 0 04, 0 05. Are you live with the medias? I'm 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I'll, I'll speed up. I'll speed up. Yeah, I'm oh. 14, 13, 15, 14, 16, 15, 16, 16. Okay, 7. Are you at medias? So brave of you to be open to being wrong, medias, even though that's never happened. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I see other people be wrong all the fucking time. Like, on, honestly, every time I have a conversation, I'm just like, I, I'm just running through my mind. Like, you're wrong. Dude, is this another wrong, solo? You're wrong. Is this another so solo? glaringly obvious that there's wrong. Yeah. So I, I figure, like, I must be wrong at some point. Like, I can't always be right all the time. I, I guess Sniper's dead because they're all teams here. I will be the wrong one. It hasn't happened yet, but I, it must sometime. Yeah. I wonder how much overlap there is between LCS and Super Bowl watchers. Ooh, Beach was probably clean. like I feel like a lot of fucking people watch the Super Bowl, even if you don't really follow sports. But do you? I've never. Do I? Yep. Uh, not on my own usually, but like if I'm at a social gathering, I'll watch it. Mm. Wow, JoJo is. Wait, JoJo's uh... just dead. Yeah. He oh. just got fucking destroyed. Oh. What? Dude, that was the most unfortunate series of events I've ever seen. So he got knocked into the tower by Talia R in a really weird way. It didn't look like he would. Then his E yeah. got stuck on the wall. He couldn't E over the wall. Taking tower for a year. He got shit on. Jesus. Honestly, it's it mentally it's kind of really. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Blabber is in trouble and he's uh, gone. Wow, dude. What the hell? Yo, is Hunter Thieves just the real fucking deal? They are, I think. Maybe so. River might be the goat. Any time a player makes anyone else on his team just look good. Look better than without him. I assume that player is just fucking what you insane. Uh. Huh? Jojo just suicided. Jo Jojo is actually getting rolled this game. From the team fight where he got his R2 canceled, that would have probably been at least one kill. To this play where he. Bro, he look has at this. Proto belt. He has Proto belt, by the way. He gets knocked into the. I don't know how he got pushed he was, that way. It felt like he was walking behind Talia to look for the R angle initially, then gave up. Yeah. And... He yeah, actually he fucked was. that up a lot of different ways. Yeah, there was so many. He had Protobelt the whole time, too, so he could have just not got knocked into the turret. 
Yeah. Wow. I like how decisive they are, bro. Like, to me, that's the makings of a good team. It's like they probably didn't make the call, yo, we're going to dive these guys, but they saw the Talia W hit, and then they realized they can kill if they follow up right away. Yeah. It's like just we're fishing here. Let's look. Let's see what happens. Vulcan, Vulcan seems very, very hot, like uh, heavy emphasis on playing Bard. Yeah, he's been playing Bard all game. <laughs> he's been playing this champ a lot, no? Ooh. Why are they always three man group in here? Cheezers. Get away from Sniper. What do you think about that Zeri build? He's been eating a lot of pressure and playing well on I don't think I don't think there's a single Zeri build that looks insane. But this is the most defaulted one, yeah. Storm Razor Why is Storm Razor over static? Um now that they buff static, I don't know. I think static would be really nice. Four hundred gold cheaper, right? 300 cheap. I mean, it's 27 total down from 3k. Yeah, so it's 400 cheaper because Storm is 100 gold more than the others. For some reason, Storm is 3100. Mm. So, uh, what I'm saying is that the difference in cost between the two is 400 gold, so you're, you're going to be that much like closer to your next item if uh, you traded it in one for one. I think it would be worth it because I think Zeri's a two item spiker. She doesn't feel very strong before then. Honestly, not sure. I would not want to play Zeri, period. Yeah, I don't think she's. Um, it's it's literally one of those champs where in your head it, it's working out so much better than it is in reality. You're like, I'm going to carry. I'm just going to 1v5. Like, just, just get me through landing phase. And then you play the game and you're like, what the fuck? It's 20 minutes and like I've been doing nothing the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you sometimes really do damage. Yeah. There, there's champs where you can carry late game, but like you're not just a complete liability to your team every moment before then. Ooh. Like Smolder? Okay. Yeah, like Smolder. Meech is just holding his flash. Damn, this is, this is a bad 500 Thieves. They're getting smoked. Oh my god. This is a good fight for C9 here. They're smoking him. <laughs> you know oh, what? Sniper's like going in. Four. No flash. Sniper's just sending it. Wow. Wow. Look how he could have got out, but he. Blocking. Dude, that was brutal by. That was brutal. C9 saw the chance to take a 5v4 and they just like went all in. I think 100 Thieves. Like super disconnected there for a sec because they're deep in enemy jungle while uh, Sniper is like not even close. And their AD carry got engaged on, which is not ideal. Oh no, Sniper is leaving. Sniper is leaving to get the mid wave right as Meech gets. Bard ulted. Ooh. I think it was a pretty nice CC chain by C9. Like, they Sedge ulted. Obviously, 100 Thieves is going to feel kind of safe for it. Yeah. So you have Milio, but then they insta Bard ulted. Yeah, it was nice. Meech probably feels kind of weird about it. Like, fuck, why didn't I just ghost? You know, why didn't I just, like, dodge the Bard ult? That was a chain of. I mean, he could have flashed the Bard ult, but. I mean, I think he, the he didn't even flash after. Yeah. Why do you not it, even flash after? It's a reasonable decision, he right? Like, he just he thinks, dead. oh, if I get Bartleton, I'll flash after, or I'm probably, I might be fine. You don't want to, like, preemptive flash every CD. It also, like, I mean, the amount of time between the Sedge ult and then the Millie ult breaking him out and the Bartle hitting him, it was all very fucking fast. Like, yeah. He, he could have probably flashed it, but I don't fault him for not. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's reasonable. Ooh, Fudge used his ult. Very close to Drake spawning, I believe. When When is Drake spawning? Within a minute, I think. The indicator. No timer. Jesus. Is Quid looking to ult in? Oh, Meech has flash here. Oh, God. Nice. Uh, Good timing by again he dude. got shit on he's not nice to... vulcan is fucking back baby he's so back he's the bard the bard pick is paying off but man i 
I'm kind of disappointed in Meech that he's not just ghosting out of these Bartles. It was a it was a nice frame perfect queue, yeah. That's what Raz is calling out. There's a, there's essentially no way he could because it was so perfect. Like he just gets insta stunned out of it, no matter if he flashes or not. Yeah. Crazy. What a throw, man. Jesus. Actually, no. I should say, what a comeback. I feel like it's a good comeback for C9 more than a throw. Like, doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel like 100 Thieves are making any just grossly bad mistakes. Obviously, Meech is making some mistakes with the Bartles, but that's just kind of how, what Bard does. I think it's yeah. unrealistic to never, ever get hit by a Bartle. It is, yeah, it is. It is a bit unrealistic, but... Oh. Like the, from there, even with ghosts, I don't think he can avoid that unless he like walks into them. I mean, you pr he probably shouldn't have been that close to the wall. Yeah, yeah. It's it's about where he put himself, I guess. But also, like they're waiting for Quid to join and be there because like Bard is not really special to like walk and flex like that. It'd be scary for him. Yeah, Quid was on the wave. Yeah, I think if I was Hundred Thieves, I would say fuck the wave. Wave doesn't matter. Just come. Yes, yes, I out. agree. Because because it's pressuring everyone on your team to play so perfectly when Drag is dying in front of their face. You know, it's it's not it's not comfortable. It'd have been better if you just move. Shield bows, Harry. Nah. You can build whatever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> because it's so so ahead. But I I don't like it. Yeah. The shield is just like too non factor. Like, it doesn't even scale well. Something that I'm looking forward to them doing, they've actually already done. They're starting to overload a lot more and just stack a wave. This one being bot lane. Just to find the oh, here's one. Oh, nice. River immune a lot there, but oh, he's just dead. Beautiful Bartleti again. Huge. Oh, God. Oh, God. GG. It's so over. Goodbye. 100 Thieves. Game Jover. Wait, Penta? Oh! Zeri buffed in Zeri Penta. So hype. Let's go. Just kidding. Wait, they can't end? Wow. Okay. Kind of surprising. We love Jerry. <laughs> She's gonna get hard nerfed after this? Maybe. I wonder if this, like, would Meech have been better off doing a poke Varus this game? Um, that's hard to say. Because they do have two really tanky uh, champs. Yeah, that's true. And you don't really want to go poke Varus with Milio, but... It would be, I don't know, it's close. It's, yeah, I mean, having the damage to deal with the tanks is good. It just seems like with Vi Aatrox, the rest of their team's trying to dive, and usually Varus is better follow-up for that. Also, everything is just going wrong. Like, he's, he has wit's end on Varus, right? That's, that's so weird. I don't know if I would... I, Damn, this is just a slaughter now. Yeah. Deleted. Oh, wait. Holy shit. Oh. Turned it around on Berserker over there. Hold up. What even happened to him? He just got comboed? Yep. Yeah, he dashed a wall into him and just got banged. Straight through the shield bow. Like, how did he kill him through that? What the fuck? Right through the shield bow. Did he even... Dude, he's full damage. It like must have been on cooldown. Look, it's not even procced. Eh. It did proc when he got the Pinto on Talia up top. Okay, yeah. Maybe it would have saved him. What do you do I when Olaf so. runs at you with these items? It's an AD carry, like you, you have fucking uh, dead. No, you have Termin uh, what is it? Terminus instead of Wit's End, and you kill him in five seconds, probably. <laughs> he kills you in one second. Oh, nice little dodge. Wow, so much healing on River there. Wow. Jojo's dead. Ooh, Jojo. Uh, Fucking stuff. Wait. Uh oh, big throw, wait, big throw. Wait. No. wait a sec. Wait a sec. Is he dead, Berserker? Oh, 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 quit, man. Oh! 
Oh. Oh. trying to hero play it. Can he do it? No! They all live! They all live. What the oh. fuck is happening? D9 took a 4v5. That was like almost a super play by Berserker, but it was it was actually an amazing W by, by fucking Wait, he win. got Hurricane on Zeri as well. So he's throwing. Double. That's fine. I think it's fine. Item. Double what? Double pisser items, like double fucking like Stormraiser Hurricane type stuff. Mm. I mean, he is not that bad. It's not that bad. Good Hurricane. Maybe Lord Doms is just where, better. Yeah, where's his armor peen? Yeah, he, he might he might want that. God, what a what a crazy or fight. Or his life steal. I feel like Twin defensive so well. item or armor pen would be better. Dude, Twin he has stun. life steal. T Talia Rock stunned Akali on the engage. So he just he just went in and just insta died. Look at this. This, this one is crazy. What an insane W by him. One, two. Oh, he needed one more auto and I think he kills everyone. Yep. Autos or cues? Quid was still laughing. Like they have good mental, even in this game state. They could, they could win. Yeah, he's having a good one. I'm just, I'm surprised after a fight like that that the gold lead is still so big, like 6k for C9. It feels like that should have evened it up, but it didn't at all. I mean, Olaf is so fucking huge. Yeah. Quid, Quid is clean with it. Uh, Blabber flashed out there. Pussy. Oh, Blabber's in trouble. He could die. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, this is good feel. Oh, my God. GG. GG. Holy fuck. Is it over? Maybe. Can... There's a drag. There's an ocean soul. And a baron. Oh, my God. But they don't fuck around and let this ult fade. Yeah, they should let his old fade. Just fucking go are. drag. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> Just Whoa. go drag. Whoa, Berserker. Wait, Berserker. He's trying Whoa. to run it. Oh! oh! What? No. What, 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 what killed him there? Oh! I think they Talia rocks. Right? Oh, okay. They, they expired? They no, they, they don't do damage on expiring. No, uh, must have been Leandries. Leandries. That's right. Leandries killed him. Okay. Wow. Do they actually Dude, they get peeled both here? so well there. Fucking it looked like Blabber was caught in River oh, and do. Sniper immediately recognized that Jojo was going in and they just fucking went on his ass. That was that, that was so impressive the way that they one shot Jojo in Vialty while he was in his shroud. Like most teams would not play it like that where everyone is so ready to just kill him in stealth. Once well again, if he was Vialted. Yeah, but I just like the coordination is still it's good target high. selection, yeah. Wow, like they just literally killed him in one yeah, second yeah. in his shroud. Yeah, I feel like normally Akali would live there and then get to do yeah, a at little least, bit. At least live long enough to get Zonia's off, but like they killed him that fast. Yeah, I think 100 Thieves uh, front lines, like, like Sniper and Rivers fight, team fight awareness is real good. Yeah, they haven't been making uh, the mistakes we see a lot. No, they're they're actually good. I'm trying to think back, like what has been causing them to lose, because the, their record is like good. It's not insane. Um, I'm thinking about the three losses, but they they're pretty impressive in, in general. Quid's full build. Oh no, we're all grouping top lane. Oh, the no. Meteos technique. Oh god. The great Meteos prophet warned us of this. Wait, what? Does C9 what? have enough Grievous? They only have Bramble on Sedge, which is like not real. Wait, I missed it. What, what were you talking about? Uh, what is I was the saying, do they have enough Grievous? Oh. Oh, grouping top lane too. Wow, Jojo's just getting fucked. That, that was a nice ult by Meech there. Blabber is struck oh. dead. Dude, Quinn is hitting every Tilia W the whole game. Like, just... This man's be cheating. Half the fucking fights just start with Quid hitting a... a nasty, is Quid nasty. the best native mid laner from NA ever? 
native to what, Korea? Holy. A little bit of veiled racism there, Sneaky. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, wow. 100 Thieves actually wins this game. What a fucking no, insane No, I don't game. think they win like this. Uh, I don't think they end I mean, like I this, feel like they're going to win. They're winning, but they haven't won. Dude, the, the score next... was like legit fucking 19 to 6 or some shit. Like, they've just been fucking chained. You're just going to call them that's the game? Already? I'm, I I don't see how C9 wins anymore. Ah. I thought that Ocean Soul was just a health potion. That top turret. They don't have Grievous, so it's two health potions. <laughs> I don't fuck with this uh, Zeri build, man. Like, sell the Storm Razor for fucking Executioners or the Mortal Reminder or something. Ugh. What? Ugh. Yeah, no, I... no fucking way, bro. Ugh. Grievous and Armor Pen? You need I'm that gonna at this point. You, you. Okay, well, that's sneaky in builds. He never really knows what's going on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just check his stream next week. He might be building Mortal Reminder first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean his, I, like Zeri is a good like, this game, this game I could, for it. She I hits everybody. Like, cause if you think about the stat difference, you're you're trading the Giant Slayer, which is not really that useful for the healing reduction. So maybe, yeah. Like normally, though, I, I think you should just get Lord Dom's, even if you're yeah. Kidding. I mean, it like you shouldn't be the one having to get Grievous, but looking at this game state, nobody on his team has it. Sedge. Like, they, it's not guaranteed. They have to auto sedge to get it. Yeah. So you need someone who can apply it easily, and a Zeri hits the entire team with her fucking zaps. Meech also almost hitting that full build point. These champions are locked and loaded. They are, but look at Jojo. He's on three and a half, right? Like he's still I actually think Oblivion Orb slash Executioner on Sedge is better than Bramble here. Yeah, but like you can he's actually apply it on people you need to. He's probably planning on at some point taking that item to the fully completed version. Taking that item to the next level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Literally oh. the next level. Top lane Just... group? Ooh. Medios? Mm. I, think, yeah, I, think it's, I, I like I, I like River and Sniper are at least watching the flanks. They have vision. Yeah, I, I, They're not letting I, I don't think this flanked. is going to be good, right? You don't want to be CGing against Bard like this and exposing yourself. I, I still don't think it's the best play they could be doing, but I mean, they are executing it a bit better than normal. And they're out. I think, I think the it's, best it's thing to do so here... It's so hard to not get flanked like this. One, one minute before Elder, you should try to get bot lane pushing. So I'm, I'm happy to see them recall and... Try to at least keep keep Botlin in a good spot for Elder. An LDR instead of Immortal, huh? Wait, what did he sell? Ooh. BT? He sold do you hear what, BT? Do you hear what Raz is saying? Like, punching through too much armor? It's, it's such a fallacy with, with AD carries. I, I hope they click on, like, Varus and just show how much armor Varus has. At level 18, I think he probably has like 90 or something. I don't have casters on what address there. He says he doesn't like the Lord Dom's buy because the enemy team doesn't have much armor. I oh, just think that's such a that's strange really mentality. Yeah. That you're going to face any serious threat. C9 trying to get themselves back out onto the map now. Seismic shove not going to find the target. Zeri zap also missing as it fires through the roof. I don't think it's ever correct to not have percent pen in a full build. Whoa, Elder's in six seconds and Hunter Thieves is playing. Oh, that's not Elder. That's that's fair. I'm I'm an idiot. Wait, what? It, it is, is Elder. Elder is soon. Well, they're, they're both spawning. It's not showing Elder timer though. Yeah. Us. Okay. It just turned yellow. I see it right there. The the dragon's flying in. C9 is right. hitting it though. I don't think hitting it's the play. Uh, I think I think C9 could 50 50 Elder as the best chance that they're gonna have in the whole game. Oh, oh the River got caught on the set. flank. Rivers that is. Oh, is Ye? Okay. This looks good for Meech C9. Meech cannot hit. Meech cannot hit They gotta kill Sniper. Kill Sniper. Oh! Kill Sniper. Fudge, where are you what going? What the Sniper? hell? Oh, Sniper's almost killing oh! people. Bro, Fudge is playing this fight so bad. He's peeling for his carry. His senpai. Nah, he, he did it too late. He like ran at their backline and then ran back and just didn't do anything. Jojo's gonna TP back in and he has ulti. I don't, I don't know. Can 100 Thieves defend this at all? Mm, 4v5 it's not completely fucked but it's hard 30 seconds on river i don't think that they can stay here zeri's gonna threaten the end and then it's just fucking over they're gonna have to back out of it
different points. Meech and Ayla again. Ooh, I don't know. Should Berserker have just kept going? I don't know why Berserker went there at all, to be honest. Threatening. I think he I think he should have just stayed at Elder. Uh oh. What's oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they're going for the end. They're going for the end. Cypress oh my god. End. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, they Wait, it's over. It's Jover. It's Jover. Wait, is it? God, wait, is it? Maybe? Is it? I don't no. know. I don't think so. He's gotta hit it. He's gotta hit it. Oh! oh my god. Wait, Meech killed two on the back though. Wait, what oh, the shit, Berserker's Wait, Berserker's dead. dead. He's dead. Is He's he? gone. Oh my yeah. god. This game Wait, is now so it's over. crazy. Yo, get the elder. Get the elder. No, I think they're just Why gonna walk up. The it's literally gonna take five seconds to kill him. No, nah, it takes forever. For sure. Really? For Varus with six items? I don't think so. Yeah. We're calling Reeker bow an item now? Wait, Fudge? Wait. Wh huh? Wait, Wait, was he trying to stop the recalls? Space race works, bro. <laughs> what? Stop the boards! Wow, 100 Thieves wins this! Holy shit. Actually, insane game by Sniper, though. That that um, random kill he got on Zeri for the 1k bounty, like, actually... Yeah. And they, this game looks so fucking over. God damn. Wow. Wait, I mean, I that, that was a busting. sick game, though. Like, that was actually fucking crazy. The ending it was... Started was off so, so slow, too. Dude, I knew as soon as I saw Quid laughing after like that fucking comeback play top, I knew. I knew Quid had it in him. I fucking knew. To defy Doublelift's order. Dude, he's he's so unleashed now that his name is not running it down. <laughs> well, Meech kind of running it, but you know. Wait, C9 <laughs> did technically throw by everyone grouping into the side lane. But Fine. it wasn't it, it wasn't like directly related. It wasn't because they were top that they died. They just both things were true. Man, was it actually correct for Berserker to go bottom here during this Elder shenanigans? That felt wrong to me. I thought he was just going to keep going. If Does he not put the enemy team in a checkmate situation if he threatens the end? Then somebody I don't has think to he's fast back. enough. I think Vi is up before he can do that, no? I saw that he killed the inhib, or sorry, he killed the turret at 18 seconds from Vi being up, so it just, it just depends. I, I don't think that's enough to actually threaten the end. Hmm. Like he, he didn't have a wave when he killed the turret. No, a hundred percent he doesn't make anyone back. Vi stops him. Does Vi just solo kill him though? I mean, he's not getting killed. Like he's not gonna get he, more. You're right? not ending in front of the Vi. Yeah, she'll clear the wave or kill you. Like you don't have super minions with you yet. Whoa! Hold up, I'll, I'll be right back. Is it desynced audio? Dude, no joke. One team I was on, I was having like an argument with someone where I was like, "Dude, you already right. told that it's Cody's son. You already ratted on." Nope, him. it's not even that team. So, oh, but I was super right about something. But the coach just had no game knowledge, so he just did the, you know, I think you're both right, and we should just find a way to incorporate both of your ideas. And I'm just like, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking lose it, bro. Like. <laughs> I'm actually gonna fucking lose Say, it. What are you, you gonna fucking do? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna lose the game on purpose. <laughs> mm. That's a real mature of you, Medios. I would never do that. I would never have done that in the past. At least I'll admit to it. I admit Unlike it. Unlike you, doing it all quietly. Snake ass. Quiet protein. Or quiet pro. Quiet, quiet protein? protein? From the top. From the top. Quiet all right, let's, the top. let's go again. Quiet uh, protein. <laughs> all right, me just do your whole thing again, where you say all of your conversation, and then and then we'll have double if go. Hey, suck my. Okay, let's let's take it from the top. Yeah. I want you to take me from the top. What does oh. that even mean, dude? Oh. Double if you ever think about if you were gonna make a team out of all your former teammates, who you'd want in each role. Probably like Dexter, Seraph, and High support. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ask double if a serious question. Get fucking shit on for it. My bad. <laughs> well, I think it's I think it's kind of rude. I don't want to say like I don't want to throw people in like this tier list that I've played with because it, it also is really hard to say now because back then, like I played with Big Fat GG and back then, relative to everyone else, he was really good. He still plays. Yeah, he still plays. 
the people are gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, why would you pick that guy or not pick this guy? But I actually think Gigi's like I haven't watched his stream and I haven't talked to him, so I could be wrong. But like to me, he's just the embodiment of like not giving a single fuck. And so like you like yes, this man's all his fucks left a long time ago. Kind he, of he really barely even gave a fuck about playing pro, to be honest. Like he he was just a pro because it just felt like well he's just naturally really good at the he game. He was just too good. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. And when it wasn't fun, it was just like he just couldn't give a little less of a fuck. Ooh. Dude, I like XU's early invades. Almost every game he plays, he's getting some kind of good early invade off. Even as the tree so man for Nocturne. It's gonna delay his six. Yeah. Which means he'll get it later than otherwise. How does Contracts respond to this? I, I might run in his top side here. Well, actually, probably not with what's going on in my soul lanes. Both soul lanes getting shit on. Bottom side? Wow, is he the walk of shame to his gromp? Holy fuck, this is... It's really not chill pathing when you're just running around half the time. That's partially why taking raptors is so annoying for junglers, because then it almost is like you take your Krugs as well, because you don't want to go up there, because there's nothing else near it. Yeah. Or you just waste a shitload of time running around. I see, I see. What are they doing? Oh my god, they're in. Dude, look at this. The shield onto Tristana. Dude. He's dead. That's Dig so is much fucking damage. sick. Holy. Holy. Yo, Dove is playing really well. He's winning his lane, drawing a lot of pressure, and this time he pushed and moved at a great time. Damn, Contracts just got fucked there. Did he get the Gromp? I couldn't tell. It was hard to see. That would like be so demoralizing if you like died like that after getting counter jungled and you didn't get the grump oh oh that hit that was what elevation, elevation diff, bro that elevation was some elevation diff. fuckery no way wait wait what huh wait actually just let him live wait oh he said okay there we go yeah, it felt like rich was walking away for a second then he's like nah actually fuck this guy oh shit Contracts died and then he respawned and he immediately ran through bot lane for a lane gank pre six nocturne. Like, how can you predict what this guy will do? It's not possible. No, you... but at the same time, I'm not really 100% on that being like a great use of his time. It is unexpected, but it's also just kind of like if I'm dig, I don't feel that bad about that. I would just say, okay, this guy is down here and there's no camps anywhere around. He's going to be level six late game. That hitbox, bro. Yeah. That's just elevation being stupid as fuck again. Because Palfox dodged back in, like, thinking that he would weave around the skill shot, but it's, like, visually desynced. Yeah. It's just lame. Oh, well played, bro. You him. actually just can't move against Glacial Leona. That was kind of crazy how long he's trapped there. Yeah. Alphox's getting fucking spanked in this lane. Early on, watching him miss a lot of QWs as well. Zach's also, he's just, he's different from most champs in how he plays. So even if he doesn't have the highest skill cap, like, Zach's obviously not as hard as Yasuo or some shit, but. If you are new to him and you haven't played him much, like, I don't think you're going to play him on a great level. That nah, makes sense. There's always little details that are really important to get down perfectly. I think a good example of an AD carry that kind of fits that description is Varus. Like, he's not very mechanically hard, but there's, like, a lot of little things about him that you wouldn't know how to play around unless you played him a lot. Like, uh, one of them is that when you E, your next auto after E, the... Like, normally, when you cast an ability, it consumes all the blight stacks, right? But for some reason, E has, like, a lingering effect where when you auto afterwards, it consumes the stack. So, technically, after you E, you should auto four times, not three, before you cast your next ability to get maximum damage. Oh, oh that was crazy. Oh, that was just crazy. The ult didn't sound as 
his first kill of the game. Yeah, it's, it's not in fix, yeah. Assaulting it anymore. Yeah. Double, you should make an amateur team. What should he call uh, it? All the double pluggers. Oh. I would join. Wait, what's Tomo doing? Flexing on him. He's getting farmed for stacks, bro. Was that not just super fucking cocky for no benefit there? Yeah. Just blow alt and cleanse. No reason whatsoever. There wasn't even a wave. He just walked up to them. Asserting dominance. Oh. Nothing makes me Tomo. feel dominated more than on the enemy wasting cooldowns. I, I will say Tomo is kind of the ego player of Doom. He used to be Yawn. Yawn used to position so unbelievably, like, just kind of stupidly in lane. Where he's just always flexing on you no matter what. Oh! Wow. Ooh. That was a nice auto R cancel. Pretty much frame perfect timing, I, I, I yeah, think. Yeah, he right clicked him and he pressed R and clicked on him. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he has no boots and I'm, I'm just being boots. sneaky. <laughs> yeah. That's what sneaky always says. Yeah. He's like, Can't wow. compliment a player on sneaky. He's like, oh, wow, he pressed R. <sighs> well, maybe the context matters on these. Fuck you, sneaky. Okay, no Dude, context. I actually don't think energy's going to win this game. Actually, uh, they have smolder. Yeah, no, they'll probably smolder. win because they have smolder. Really but, don't recommend you to buy boots and dark seal before completing. Look at that smolder damage, bro. He is not a pumper at this point. No. If Take he had that. Fever, he would do so much more damage, but he's and he's like double buffs too. So. I mean, God, he's damn. buying it, isn't he? He's just poor. You know what's really interesting? I I think I'm thinking about that contracts quote. Hold that thought. He did. Dead. You thought about the, his quote and he got a kill. That was you. You did that. I'm him. I think leave oh, who he to die. Leave leave who he to die. Oh my god. Palafox dead. Man down. Man down. Dude, I, no -sento. I don't know why, but like I, that's my least favorite way to die. I think like the way who he did, where you, you know you're caught and you're gonna die, but it's it takes so long to actually go down. <laughs> You're just like slowly getting picked. It's like you're just on a fucking sinking ship and there's nothing you can do. Yeah. <laughs> Does Leona have Glacial or Aftershock? She has Aftershock. <laughs> yeah, you were saying she had Glacial earlier. Okay. <laughs> I, all I said was it's hard to get away from Leona with Glacial. I didn't uh, fuck yourself. Uh, dude, Medias would be such an insane professional gaslighter in a relationship. You mean a politician? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Same? Yes, sir. So like, what what if you were, what if like um, you know, let's just say like your girlfriend wants to go on a walk. Like, would you be down to go on a walk every day? <laughs> I've been going on walks, but <laughs> depends on the time. What if I'm streaming? <laughs> okay, like in the morning, you guys wake up, or like before bed, you know. Just, I, I, I for sure. I, I actually no cap love going on walks. I love going on walks. I go on a walk, yeah. Why do we never go on wow. walks? And well, dude, you do. You literally never want to hang out. <laughs> Come to my house right now. Come to my house. Every pull time up I right now. out, I get ignored. Pull, pull up. Just oh my god. Up. Big ult. Big ult. Oh my god. It's 225. Wait, dude. Did you see Zaya just had to like Wait, he's predictably dead. ult there? He's dead. Yeah. Uh-oh. Smolder down. This doesn't Younger? look good for energy. Uh-oh. GG. What the fuck? Wait. Dokla. Dokla's lessons from Medios. No! They're not enough. Oh! God damn, dude. I'm just saying Medios would have V5'd that. Media Maybe. Dude, I should just... I'm going to start spamming Zach top on Magma Golem. Is it... see what happens. Is it good when Zach top has zero CDR items on two completed items? Is that good? Wait. Kendall Zoom doesn't give CDR anymore? What does it do now? Two completed <laughs> items? Two completed <laughs> items? <laughs> Wait, doesn't have any CDR? Doesn't have any CDR. Haste, 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 haste. No, uh... It's... <laughs> I mean, you probably would want haste. But it's not as bad since they changed them this season. They lowered those cooldowns. They did do that. Yeah, haste is bad. Haste is quite good on them. I like how FBI literally, like, I think he barely gets his 225 here. And he insta dies. <laughs> and he's gone. Legit insta dead. Yeah. 
Hey, have you guys heard about Gamer Subs Black Tea? I drink a huge fucking cup of it every day. It's hashtag like again. Hashtag again. Week, by the way. Hashtag again. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just trying to make conversation. I don't know why you guys are getting so mad. <laughs> That's true. Man, you're... Like, I don't know this to be weird, but, like, you're so socially smooth, man. Can you give me lessons on how to be, like, <laughs> such a smooth operator? Like, I'm just really jealous. Do these gamer jealous supplements of... enhance my performance in-game? How fucking cool you are, bro. I want to be like Dude, you. Dude, I, I know that a social awkward nerd like yourself wouldn't understand how to have a conversation the way that I do, but what I did there was just pure class. Smoothly weaved in a hashtag ad into a normal conversation. I mean, if you weren't paying super close attention, you you wouldn't even have known it was an ad. <laughs> Yo, what do you guys want for lunch today? How about some gamer subs? Are you old? Oh! Actually, kind of nice escape. My fear. Uh oh, we're all grouped into the top lane. Four v five. Can we outplay the engage contract? Goes in that flash out. Okay. Not a little. I don't think he's getting out. Okay. Hey guys. You probably do not want to be pressing Smolder LT the very first millisecond of a team fight every time. Okay. But, but it's okay. Oh, Why is Iverson so broken? Going to the E4 going to assassination on Oh, but dude, he's just, just he's unkillable because Ivern is just so broken. Ivern so OP. He's actually OP. Oh my god. Dignitas are going to do it. Dude, this is actually looking to be one of our most competitive splits. Like, yeah. Straight up. Even the teams that you wouldn't expect to win are winning. All we had to do was cut all of their funding. I mean, dude, the the league's got to be funded by passion, not money. I'll say it. True. I mean, so if people are right. only playing for money and not because they just love the game, like, what's the fucking point? Yep. Hard to agree. This, uh, like, you know, fucking nameplates and everything about the economy off. This split has been pretty fucking sick. The uh, amount of upsets and, like, closeness. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's been good. Energy now on a four loss streak. God damn. We're down to. Are they four and five now? Uh, yeah, they were four and four. Wait. Also, you didn't have to call me out like that, Medios. Uh, that was out of pocket. Oh yeah, they did. That was super weak. Okay. Ending on odd games. Oh really? And soul picked? Huh. Okay. Into Vi? Okay, okay. I think Asol is fucking broken. Really? I think he's... Even after the hotfix, I think he's broken. Hmm. In my solo queue games, he's like a super scaler that doesn't feel weak early. Hmm. But if I, it goes I like game, seen him. GG. Yeah, I've literally... The only time I saw him was... When somebody wanted to play Smolder, it got banned, they locked an Asol bot and ran it the fuck down. <laughs> I love dragons. I love it. Oh, I'll stack dragons. a different kind of dragon. Oh, fuck. I'm 0 10. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's talking about the old Azel in my chat and reminded me how cool his old ulti was. Remember, it was Breath of Light and he, like. Oh, I, don't, the beam. Actually, I don't remember. The, yeah, he shot a fucking beam out and pushed people away, and you could do some crazy wombos with it where, like, push people into position for your stun to hit. It was so yeah. cool. That was sick. People totally played him. Guys, honestly, his new ulti, it, like, looks cool, but it's actually lame as fuck in the game. Like, as in, it's so... It, is anyone really playing around the fact that it's, like, a, a big one or a small one? Like, yeah. it just, like, randomly has, like, like once in a while, he'll, I just know he has a big one. He gets enough Stardust or whatever. He has a fucking big uh, ulti. You mean, like, you mean against? You should like, play with, around it. it. Like, if you're playing with it, for sure. I don't know about against, though. I never play around it, no matter... Like, if it's on my team, it's on the enemy team, I'm never counting when he has the big... Uh, you, gotta be, you gotta be trolling, for I mean, sure. I, it's that, it's that mega like a, huge. Like you problem That's a me sure. problem? Yeah. That's a me problem? It, it's actually so insane. Different. I mean, you don't want to group up and get fucked by his huge ulti, but I don't, it's, it's like, like Corky Package. You, you can try to, like, run at him and make him use it in a suboptimal way. Okay, okay. Like, if you find him by himself and he has to ult one person, it's way better than being grouped up in a team fight and all getting killed. I mean, you won't you won't want to be grouped up against a control mage in a team fight no matter what. Like even if he has a small ult, you don't be grouped up. So it doesn't really change the way I think about it much, but I should probably keep track of it, yeah. That could be good. It's a pretty big difference. Ooh, B-Boy and Zazel are the first ones to abuse Zyrakon. And they 
might start a trend. They cause... might be cooking. How, Damn, how, like, is it, how is it bad? When is Zyrocon bad? That's always it's my It's literally question. never been bad since it yeah. came out. You have a bad matchup, just gank bot after Rakan hits six. Like, it's it's so easy to, to get something done. And if you're winning your lane, GG. Enemy team can't play. Are they doing Nautilus farming? I don't know if farming Nautilus is the right pick against Zaya. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> like, Nautilus just kind of gets countered by Zaya, I think. Oh my god, Umpty's... Does he fucking know, dude? He's like... He's sniffing this shit. CJ percentage. Holy shit, we're just... We're just Umpty like... plus boogie 4% <laughs> plus CJ. Got the Stardust. I want to see an early gank on APA. Blowing flashes a soul does not sound like a good time. Froxum talked about it in his post. I don't know if you guys saw that one about Loser's Q. Dude, you saying Lucius Key doesn't exist, but like it's all I, you and you're the only I'm always in it, so like it's <laughs> wrong. How does this guy have a job? No, I mean <clears throat> only a complete moron would actually Lucius Q is like a, a figure of speech. Like no one actually thought unless you're crazy, there no are one definitely actually thought people it was real. Who think it's real. There are hundred percent. Tyler one pilled. Like, the way that it's What? One Boogie one just watch. fucking watched that happen. Wait, what even happened? Dude, Umpty, Umpty just, just fucking flashed, flashed the, wall. the wall to try oh. to invade Boogie, but Boogie path too smart, and Boogie, he like saw the Zinchao flash in. Wait, but this is actually good. Umpty is huh. getting really ahead. I mean, it's okay. I mean, he's going to be five camps to three if he ends up successfully getting Raptors here. Oh. Yeah, and he's in there with no flash, and I don't think he's getting out. Flash out. Just fl flash out. What the he hell? He flashed in there. Why didn't he just flash out of there? He, he flashed in. Am I muted? <laughs> he's Dude, joking, uh, dude. Come on. I'm fucking muted. No one fucking listens <laughs> to me. He's pulling a silly goose. No one fucking listens to me. Dude, Minus, can you pipe the fuck down, dude? I'm watching the game over here. <laughs> okay. Not. It is actually not horrible for Zen because all of his camps are still up. Like, he can just full clear into bot side if he wants to. I like that Boogie's invading this. At least slow him down, even if you can't stop it. Uh oh. Fake God's getting dove again. Fake God's getting dove again. Wait. Oh my he... god, he's like I feel like Impact could have finished yeah, that. Yeah, why, why didn't he. Go for it. That was weird. I guess right. he was just figured he would die to Vi guaranteed if he went for it. I guess. So just... Yeah. I mean, that's kind of impact as a player, right? He's very reserved compared to most. He probably figures Vi's kind of fucked. Let's not get him back in the game for no reason. He does have Ignite too. No TP. I mean, obviously, that was why the kill was even possible, though. Yeah. Impact's probably the least likely player to just do some super fucking like. Ego mistake, you know, like, yeah, go for a yellow kill, like, fucking brain off, tunnel vision. He is a very, very conservative playing veteran. He plays with no balls. <laughs> Does he get a pension for that? Being a veteran? <laughs> with no He's three at five minutes. Balls? Does impact. He's getting the bag. There is no bag anymore. Oh, it's it's Team Liquid, Sneaky. Uh, we can't Bro, be sure. Umpty does not realize he's playing Zin Zhao, man. Umpty, flash out. Wait, he's actually getting out of this? This feels wrong. Oh, Boogie's fucking dead. Oh what my god, huh? They're just winning this? How? Huh? That felt so illegal, what Umpty's doing. Like, did they actually just, play that correctly? They just ran out of damage, right? Like, uh, or How do you run out of damage, Vice? Fucking... Sustain damage dealer. Well, poor Ye Ye showed up. Let's see, let's see. Did out. they fuck it? Did they fuck it? This actually feels so crazy by Umpty. Wait, you're right. Why would he start his entire combo on the Rakan? That's the that's the one champion among these three that you don't want to I guess be using they didn't really on. play it wrong. He like knocked up Vi. Yeah. To make a little bit of room. And I think this Senna E was kind of fucking Boy Boy from being able to commit to him. Like, does Umpty know that it's like what he's doing is kind kind of bad 
uh, but like it will get the fight started at the very least with his teammates first class pretty ballsy pretty big ball it's yeah. for sure aggressive and trusting his team wait i think it is what the I actually fuck think happened? it's fine sometimes to start fights, even if you know you'll die, if your team can clean up afterwards like that. Oh, yeah, 100%. It feels kind of bad I mean, to do it, but did, did core better overall. Did core accidentally do the Meteos thing with the Doran Shield start? The Meteos thing. Yeah, yeah, the thing you're talking about. I mean, I don't think it was a fucking accidental, considering he was farming. But he wasn't farming, though. Like, Senna was still getting it. Like, they were sharing a little bit. He has 20 farm. No, he had he had six, and then I had like 14. Like, hmm. it seems like he was intending on buying this item. And Yon, so is Yon is Yon eventually going to get the? Um... I, I don't think so. I think he would have bought it there, unless he forgot. Yeah. Maybe he forgot. Oh wait, so just neither of them had support items? In yeah, the beginning? literally no support items existed. Oh. And that's funny. That's what I'm saying. Like, for some he, reason, I thought like Sena would have had it. Yeah, wait. Sena full Senna, farming is kind of weird. Senna, no? Oh, what Ooh. the? Uh, oh. He had to. He, he okay. I, I I would actually believe that Yon is still gonna buy it. I mean, I would be surprised if he bought a support item at eight minutes. Oh wait. It looks like he's just playing full farming Sena now. No wait. Never mind. Yeah, you get fucked now, huh? Yeah, you get fucking rolled if you buy but, but two. I don't really understand uh, the point in playing full farming Senna. Yeah, I Why, why I pick Senna know. if you're just going to farm the creeps? There's so many better picks. Let's do more. How, what is the soul gain rate right now when you're killing it? Is it, like, horrible? It, it never Pretty changed sure from the one patch that they made it absolutely unbearable. Like, it's so bad now. I, I guess I'll look it up. Actually, I can't. My screen is going to... I think it's like one soul per hundred minions or so. Dude, that lever or whatever the fuck for that soul shit is actually so dumb as a concept. It's really stupid. Like, it, it should actually just be 100% consistent. Like, that's the thing you shouldn't yep. change. Yep. So then you can remember how it works. Imagine that they found, like, quote-unquote levers on every champion and they just nerfed, like, the most cringe shit about them repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking just adjust the range on your ability, like Blitzcrank hook by like 50 every patch. Like, let's dude. do a nice lever for Blitzcrank. Yeah, do that with 80 let's carries. Let's 2,000 hook range for one patch. Literally, oh. every single <laughs> 80 carries range. <laughs> so bad. Yo, it's a lever, by the way. We can adjust that. It's a smart design choice. You know? <laughs> no, it's other no, game no, devs. No. We're the best dude that ever did it. Hashtag levers. <laughs> Bro, you you know in the design room, everyone is giving each other like hand jobs and high fives, fist bumps. So like, yeah, we're so fucking smart. The levers, guys. <laughs> Wait, what, what was one of those H handshakes and fist bumps and high fives? <laughs> and what was that other one? Dude, we're gonna make the blog post. We're gonna tell them about the levers. Dude, <laughs> I cannot pants. wait to fucking do the blog post talking about how smart I am. It was a good thought, I'll say that. Chatting. But after years of experiencing the changes from Senna, it's horrible. Dude, like, no hate to Riot. Maybe maybe a little bit, but, like, I feel that way with... When I see the patch notes, how they are like, yeah, we, we broke up all of our... Uh, B -boy doing? Balance framework into, like, you know, the, the skilled elite pro play, whatever, like, and uh -huh. we have win yeah. rates for each one. I'm like... Bro, these things are just most fucking random numbers. Where where was that? I never saw that. Oh, like every, oh, patch, every notes, patch note. Look at it. It's a big oh, really? event top. It's like yeah, they have they, the, they, the key, and it's like when champs are nerfed or buffed, they usually nerf. They say like what bracket it was problematic in. I like you know Scars already used to do the notes, right? Yeah. Ever ever since he left, I was getting triggered at whoever the fuck was writing them, because like a lot of them were just felt like they were so out of touch. You getting ragey? Oh. Yeah, like Dude, I, why I was would... not going for that plate, bro. It looks like so juicy. Like I, I would read the oh, notes cool. attached to the changes, and I'm just like, this does not align with what this change is at all, and like why they would do it. It, made, it legit made no Dude, sense. It might be better now, though. Inference. That's not nice. <laughs> it, it might be better now. I just kind of stopped reading them because I was triggered. Holy shit! You you stopped reading patch notes? No, like the the notes on the patch notes for logic. 
Dude, there oh, was some okay. point where they were getting way too carried away with just trying to make puns out of everything that they weren't even saying anything. It was like yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. I think the occasional one's good, but it was like every fucking note was like you couldn't even read it, bro. I'm just imagining what happened at Ride a long time ago is like they're, they're trying to figure out who to cut from the from the payroll. They're like, man, our company's getting kind of bloated. Like, we need to figure out what, what everyone does. <laughs> I start going to the team, Okay, what do you do? And he's like, I um. <laughs> what would you uh, say your framework. job is here? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was a nice chain on APA there. He got fucking owned. Yeah, that was a good play. Uh, I, I break down the patch notes into the four oh! tiers that we've designed. Ooh. Holy shit. Holy Almost solo kill. I said Scar Rizard, not Scarra. He works at Blizzard now. Yeah. Yo, do you guys follow real sports at all? I feel like I've asked this question a lot. Uh, I follow League of Legends. So I don't know what you mean by real sports. <laughs> real sports, man. Not like 500 pound nerds breathing into their mics. <laughs> I'm an athlete and this is a sport. I was, no, I, was curious like, I, I don't i don't really follow it i'll like occasionally catch some news or hear people talking about it but okay maybe some sport lore masters can help me understand in chat so someone said imagine having fake god when licorice is available which which honestly you could say for a lot of the top teams like licorice is probably better than a lot of these top laners right but then think about it like why would licorice want to join anything but like licorice might not want to join these teams so they just go with the next guy, or they don't have the budget to afford what Licorice would want as a seller. I'm just saying, hypothetically, I'm not saying it's actually true. In real sports, if like someone's a really good talent, right, and they can't get on a top team, would they just sit out a year and wait for like a, a good team to pick them up? Or would they just always no, they, play? No, they play. Isn't it a lot different though? Because of the- My chances are very rarely. They always play, I see. Is it not different because like, there's so many teams no job, right? and fucking so many players on these teams? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of teams, but like, I have no clue. I'm I think just it's asking. way different. I don't think they. It's a revolving door of players as much. Whereas LCS, you're yeah. changing teams all the time. No, Lena's saying because there's so many spots, but what I mean is like, like, won't you tarnish your reputation if you join like a bottom tier team? You know, you, you get the job, you get a bit of money, obviously, maybe they pay you a decent amount, but, like, by joining the bottom tier team, are you not going to harm your reputation in the long run by, like, fucking up your stats or, like... Because that's how it is in I, don't, LTS, I, I, think I think that think. part of sports has less of an overlap with, like, league-type shit, because, you know, in football or whatnot, you're, you know, your position does a certain thing. It's not like league where the games are snowball-y and you can be completely fucked over from other people. You can to an extent. You know, like if a, a quarterback has like a really bad front line that's like not stopping anyone from trying to sack him all the time, then he'd probably look worse. Yeah, but I don't know. Probably good enough. You can still stand out even if your team's not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the same way in league, right? Or I similar. Guess, yeah, the, the stock doesn't. Your stock going down. Somewhat, but I, I think it's more that in sports, the game state doesn't, you know, permanently get affected. Like you're, you're not yeah, permanently yeah, yeah. ahead or behind. It's not like when they score points, you start fucking getting your limbs oh. amputated. <laughs> no, yeah, it's definitely a lot different. I see. I see. We're also three bozos on this, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure how it works. No, I, I am though. Okay. There's a fine line between confidence and delusion that I walk perfectly <laughs> every time. Sometimes it feels like I'm delusional, but really I'm just confident. Yeah. What is Senna building next? Uh, could be Axe Mark. Be... Is this really the soul build? Like a no mana item first? Can you do that? They made his mana cost a lot cheaper with the changes. Oh, really? But it does seem weird. I feel like you'd at least want tier. Yeah, at least stack it. I've seen a lot of no mana builds where they go Rylai's Leandries, like old, but like it's weird as fuck because I'm like zero haste, but it doesn't seem to matter. Yeah, I mean, the haste shouldn't matter on Soul. Yeah, haste is not a good stat for Soul. His Q doesn't tick faster with haste. Wait, he just full bought a Rylai's. Holy. I called it, boys. It's also somewhat different now where these builds are 
more viable than previous seasons because you have the guaranteed blue buff, right? Mm. The team-wide yeah. blue. Yeah. Whereas before, you know, sometimes you wouldn't have blue, but now it's a lot more likely. Yell's just kind of winning the game passively. Stacking three drakes. Doesn't seem to be too much action, but... Um, has been invading quite a bit. Yeah. I guess the action is around the camps. Do I think okay. B-Boy is better than Wild Turtle? Um, I mean, I, when I look at his individual performance, he's playing really well. A lot of the time that they're winning, I feel like B-Boy is carrying. Really solid player. But Turtle was the probably the best Lucian that we've seen so far in LCS. Like, he's actually doing stuff. Didn't win, but he's doing good. Oh my god, it's dark. Ugh. Wait, there was a player who reached out to try to purchase some academy. He told Bjergsen he'd find and kill his family. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> huh? Wait, that's a classic League of Legends story. It's just like, okay, let's do a quick behavior check. Oh, that guy told me to fucking get cancer and he would find me and bomb my house. Okay, um, we're gonna have to decline you. Sir. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, wait. They just got oh, shit on? Baron! What happened? They flipped, the, they flipped the game. What the fuck? I got stun locked by whatever double lift just said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I couldn't even focus. <laughs> Who did that? Like, that felt so out of nowhere. Like uh, a random player was... trying out, and then they background checked him? Yeah. Wait, who is it? Who is it, Lena? You have to say. You can't tell me? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Sneaky did that? Oh, oh shit. Uh-oh. Sneaky Castro. Back in the day, man. This guy was a demon. This guy's did crazy. Did you see what he did to the odd one that one time? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to go back and watch that video. Sneaky on Tarek, this motherfucker. Took him out cold. Yo, congrats, Impact! Impact, let's go. Passing Pobelter for 7th of all time. 1463, the 7th all time, dude. I was... Pobelter, Schmobelter. Remember how early in the split we were like Zinzao's broken, then he then no one was playing him for a couple uh couple of weeks or so. I think he's back. Yeah, he won one game. I I think it's safe to say. He is so Barak. They've nerfed Hydra like ten times. Titanic? Yep. He didn't even build it. No, nah, I honestly I kinda feel like that item's bait on Zen. Really? Why? I mean it's good obviously for the knockup, but he really likes haste, and that thing does not give any haste. I think, like, in team fights, it falls a, a bit off, yeah. If you're getting, like, little skirmishes, though, it feels so strong. Yeah, maybe base not the right word, but I think overrated. Mm. I don't think it's... The people think it's needed, but it's not. Yeah. Oh, Fake God is sending it. Fake God is oh. sending it. Humpty's <laughs> sending it. <laughs> He doesn't give a uh, fuck, dude. Oh, God. He's having a real good game. I like the way he's playing. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, insanity, get out of there, buddy. Your career is saved. You've locked in Oriana. You can rest easy He actually did yesterday. And lost in peace. Yeah. He won yesterday look, with it, actually. Look, he locked in a meta champ. He's looking... Well, oh, and he's good. I forgot what happened now, but he's actually useful this game. His teammates are running it. We're looking at some career longevity. What can I say? Huh. Bro, what do you think about supports rushing Frozen Heart? It totally... It, to me, it make, makes so much sense. I'm surprised I haven't seen it it's earlier. It's mega cheap. Wait, aren't, weren't they? I think they've been. They've been? I haven't they been mean. fucking completely uh blind of i guess i haven't i only saw it today i've noticed noticed it today i feel like they've been rushing it yeah oh wait in solo queue do melee supports rush frozen i'm gonna look it up yeah i mean the problem is you have to be playing the tank you don't see that many of them yeah nah it was too crazy man buzio started playing the game in season two or maybe season three <laughs> i think it was season three and he was seven. And I was just imagining in season three, I was like pretty well into my career. Like I thought I was at the end of my career, probably <laughs> pretty close to it. <laughs> I was like about ready to fucking retire if, if things were going south for me. And this dude is seven years old playing the game in fuck like in elementary school. 
and now and then I played with him. I played with him. Yep. So crazy, man. I am old. You've got brittle hands, broken arms. Need a wheelchair to get you around. You. Go back and watch our landing phases versus C9. I put oh. Berserker in the dirt. Oh. Okay, be back. I need to go. I need to go take a shit. Oh, there's a TF! Yes! Oh, wait. Thank it. God. Finally. It, okay, it's legit top or bot. Uh-huh. I, I think I think you go to carry. It's definitely not mid-TF, guys. Where's Slee going? She cannot jungle. She's for sure only a mid laner smile. Where's the Vi going? Could be Vi support. Vi support, okay. Could be. We or cooking. Jungle. We cooking. Yeah. Okay. I oh, literally gosh. could not kill a new deer as ADTF. Maybe it's the counter. What did you build? Uh, I had a My full tank. Kraken Rage Blade. All right, let me stop you right there. What do you mean? Let me stop you right there. You were gonna say that no matter what I said. Wait, Rage Blade? Yeah, I was actually gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta go like you gotta go Essence Reaver into IE. <laughs> Ooh, what? No. On that, TF, no, yeah. Medus is right. Medus is right. Essence Reaver IE Rapid Fire. Yeah, One yeah, tap yeah. everyone. He's cooking. I was I watched watch Guma's latest it's 80 uh, carry. video. It's eighty carry. Oh wait, Guma had a video on eighty TF. Uh, it's today on Korean server YouTube video. Oh, but well, what happened? It's about Guma's games on TF. What do you do? I'm not okay. Like he did Storm Razor rapid fire. I know that's cringe. You should, probably shouldn't go rapid fire second. He was snowballing super hard though. Duh. But Storm Razor, Storm Razor fleet looks really good to be honest. No, it, you get. I think Rapid Fire is actually fine second. I, I was okay. doing some crack in Rapid Fire. No, like on TF it's weird. Like he just does so much damage no matter what. Yeah, exactly. But the hardest part is is getting the first hit in. So um, when I was watching Storm, like Storm Razor Rapid Fire doesn't sound like it does a lot of damage, but like, dude, he's shredding close yeah. to target. Yeah. Um, he pumping. Made me want to try that shit. But I know I'm gonna be horrible at TF. It's just like it doesn't like. Fit no, no, no. no. It's 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 brain. not hard at all. It's so fucking easy. Really? Okay. Yes. I might I might have to run it down in some solo games. Legit, today. like you watch yourself pump. Mm. You gold card someone, they die. Bye bye. If me and Medios hit the club together on God, we would pull some baddies. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Base. Wait, is that a pain chatter? <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. Okay, this guy said DL is so cool. Your haircut looks so good. Wait. Wait. That one is not paid. That one is not paid. Damn. He's Dragon right. Takes are the best. I could go on. Feels tactical. Try his hands at it. Um, one of the big reasons, though, especially specifically. Pick Wait, why did he lock in the card without doing the auto reset? Oh, I missed a CS. I can't watch anymore, I fear. Zero for it's minus actually... two. Minus two. Minus two. Zero for two. No, it's even more for TF, dude. When it's minus two, it's minus like four. Oh, yep. Did you read the uh, description of like when you crit and your passive crits thing? Double lift? No, I don't fully understand how it works. I just so, know like, crit is a. It just says fire. that it's a dice weighed towards a low roll. Like. You're way more likely to get a one than you are a six. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and when regular passives the other way. More likely to be a six. Yeah. And uh, and is this is this all just stemming <laughs> from the fact that Baldur's Gate was the really really popular game a couple months ago? <laughs> Wait, what's going on here, bro? And the game designers got into a, a room and they're like, dude, what if we made TF's dice roll with advantage? Dude, like, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, I think this game's over, guys. What is happening? Now Why is Maokai just free farming? No, no, this is this is what I would have done too. I would have told my support, you stay on the turret, I leave. Dude, and... no shot. <laughs> Double lift is literally running it down repeatedly. No. no. He's, about He's to saying, Why? Why the fuck? He says, We're not winning no. the game by getting their blue. What is happening? No, I mean, this is a bad time. Wait, is Boosie sure, dead? But... All right. You got I feel like card. that's one of those things that's like, it doesn't actually matter. 
that Tactical's getting zoned? Yeah, like, he's already gotten 2CS. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Damn, D D yeah, wait, wait, wait. pretty Pius, good. Yes, last time we were talking about this, you're like, why the fuck would the jungler go and cover bot lane? I'm just gonna go do my own thing, and you guys take that. And now you're like, yeah, he should have gotten covered. Like they're getting fucked. No, What's I'm the saying difference? you would have covered. You would have called for cover when you said that's exactly what I would do. Well, I think what yeah. Armeo did's good. Oh, okay. So you're you're cool with what happened here? Yeah, I mean. Okay. I wouldn't put this on the jungler, no. Let's, this... uh, let's, see if, let's see if we can win the game now. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to be a little bit behind. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, my God, what's but, happening like, maybe, mid, Jensen? Maybe shouldn't pick TF80 carry, I don't know. That's what I would say. Oh! Oh! Kill him, Jensen. Jensen just doesn't flash Jensen didn't that even whole flash. time. Balls of steel. Chat, he is. Well played with the fleet thing. Like he he knew he had a fleet up, so he turned and hit, and it gave him the enough healing to survive the auto. Wasn't it just the shield? It, it was a bit of both. I think fleet no. also saved him. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, how do you how do you kill a Maokai support? He's just so tanky. Oh. oh. I mean, like forty to thirteen CS. Doesn't even do anything. Doesn't even do anything, man. Armeo's gonna carry. He's Ooh, actually, that was nice. Oh, the movement. movement. Punishing the aggressive. Man, that feels so bad to be masked. You're legit shitting him yeah. in lane. You just throw it hard. Well, yeah, he yeah. he goofed it for sure. Yeah, he fucked it. He could have just zoned his ear and fucked him. Sucks ass to be him. Ooh, especially because Jensen wasn't even here at the time. Like he's just thinking this is a free push in. Yeah. He basically got soloed. What what is like really odd to me in bot lane more than I feel like other lanes is like when you're in a fuck situation like this. Uh, okay, I have more experience being on the side of the Callista where you're like 30 CS ahead. It still feels like the lane is on a knife's edge. Like if if, if there's anything that goes wrong or like any mistake, it's like so easy to throw it. Yeah, I'm normally on yeah, like, that's the why absolutely I think, like, shit if side. I think if someone's behind and you have the option to like just do anything else, it's better than just pulling your whole team to try to help them not be behind because yeah. let them be behind for a while and like whatever. He'll come back. There, there's like a, it, it boils up to a point where it's unplayable. I don't think this is that point though. Like if you look at the gold value of between 80 carries, it's like, uh, you know, tactical 650. Masu 1100. I guess you could add the refillable potion, so it's a bit more. But it's like, okay, that that's not that bad when you put it in that perspective. Like Zerkers versus th this is fucked. What's happening right now? They're, they're getting frozen on. They're they're fucked. But um, sometimes it's I mean, not then the, this is literally just like a matchup thing. Like, yeah, the matchup is unplayable. I think two v two. Don't know what they're thinking. I can't. Is... What oh, Buzio might die. Buzio might die. He, he could. I could see dead. him dying here. He's dead. Oh! Dude, Wait, dude, dude, okay, I, f I forget how kill credit works with fucking Renata's last here. person to hit. It's last person to hit him. Like while he's on the yeah, well, well, while dead, the dead? Down. Yeah, on the official death. Okay. Not the, uh, pre okay. Not the pre-com. The, uh, whoa, uh, what wait, whoa, whoa, what? Wait, what's happening? Uh, oh, oh! That's not worth it in, in no universe. See, this is what I'm talking about. In no universe could that be worth it for you, right? Like, yeah. all you did there is you traded one for one when the enemy ADC was completely out of the game. And yeah, 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 yeah. Maokai got the kill or whatever, you know? But that doesn't matter. Like, for any sure. mistake Terrible. that you make is so much more punishing for you as the guy that's ahead. Yeah. Yep. So I, I think right now, I think, I, think uh, I don't know if Tactical is smiling, but he should be. I mean, he's playing ADTF, and it doesn't look like he's played TF before. No offense. What do you mean? Bro, I don't know. Just like, he has a gun to he's do locking anything. his cards, dude. Let me see. Oh. What? Bro, there's nothing. Like, not getting his auto resets and shit? Like, what happened early game? Uh, I don't know. Eh, I think he hasn't been able to attack literally anything. So I couldn't say. 
denying TF Passworld. Eh, uh, guys, it's not. I, I, he could have just taken Q level one and farmed with Q if it's this unplayable. I was gonna say, you usually don't even put a point in Q. But maybe well, if it's maybe this, should. maybe if it's this Doom, do you might. If it helps you get CS, you couldn't get otherwise. For sure, you should. The greedy play. What we used to saying where you don't put a point in Q. I've seen in some some videos. Or sorry, where you do put a point. But I think the greedy play is to never put a point in Q on ADTF. So I wouldn't say it's greedy. Like, I think it's situation specific for sure. Like, I, I, mean, I, I, I think it's literally for the situation that you can't hit the wave. Wait, Tactical is just going to die. Yeah. And then they're going to reset. And then they're going to kill our Mayo too. Oh! 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 Wow. Oh, no. That feels he... bad. Dude, that was one auto away. You think you're shutting TF down, but he's still a gold card. Nah, but the thing is, like, I just don't don't play TF if you haven't actually played TF. <laughs> what a tactical play! He blue guarded. Oh. Yeah, he blue guarded it. Oh. Maybe me like, was right. You cannot convince me this guy should be playing TF in a professional game. <laughs> He's probably played him like a couple times in a year. I'm like, yeah, it's TF. Because dude, I, I played him and. His card locking thing actually is pretty weird. Like, it seems like it would take some practice to get used to the, the reset. auto reset portion. Yeah, yeah, it does. It definitely takes like five games. I mean, not only that, but I find it kind of hard to juggle when you're ulting in and picking your card. Like, having the perfect ult. That was other hard. But... That, that like, one's so easy because you know you can start picking your ult, your card like while yeah. you're yeah. in the ult porting. Like you can just press W while alting. Yeah. No, I know, but you're you're looking at it on the UI, right? So you're porting in and you're clicking your R on on the perfect well, like, spot for it. But you gotta know like the, looking down. You know the tick rate too, like how fast it I changes think that's cards. Like the easiest time to get a TF card. If you fuck that one up, you're uh, maybe not cut out for the champ. <laughs> Shit, dude, my brain is not cut out for it. It's not that I would lock in the wrong card. I'm saying like it would take it takes a lot of my brain power to like. Yeah, that's why I'm like scared of fucking playing Tiff and running down. So just, it takes just a lot of brain power to like do both at once. You, you'll yeah, see. It's, it's not I mean, hard. I, I, just play I get that, and I think that's a good just testament to why you should be playing AD carry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Some of us don't have the same bandwidth going on up there. <laughs> I like the Zug Zug. I remember like really, really early on in season one. There was a post about how Messiah would insta lock gold cards because he would like get to a certain amount of haste, or it was CDR at the time, and he would lock a gold card and then he would walk up exactly like six seconds, whatever it is, you know, it's probably like 10 seconds or like 11 seconds or some shit, walk up exactly and know that that one is going to be an insta lock gold card because of the way that it works. Uh huh. Very interesting. Like you get the like internal clock down for like mid all ins. Wouldn't be. Haste related though, right? Just oh the... my eyes, dude! It's it is, it is, every it time because it's about like when changes. you're I don't know. It's about like when your next W comes up and it has to align with like the right second in the game. I guess if you're trying to get your like W the second I saw off cooldown to be the gold, yeah. TF got an yeah. item before Callista. Oh, dude, Static Shiv is uh, so cheap. What the hell? 2700 maybe it's the build i don't know I mean, yeah. a 300 gold buff on it is kind of crazy <clears throat> did they take away any stats from the item or just the proc damage proc they damage, took away the proc damage to champs mm. item like is super relevant to... the item has undergone so many fucking changes yeah. mm. true yes porting onto azir it's done it's done he's dead Jensen down. Oh. What can you do? Mid now has to take twins. Pretty much did about Literally as much as he could. But in a way that, that doesn't do much. It makes him lose a shit ton of pressure because everyone used everything mid and they have to go do the walk of shame back to side. Like against that kind of shit, you just need health. Maybe if you went first item Leandries or something, he's out of range, but then you have first item Leandries, so it's like... <laughs> some point you just accept you're gonna die like that if they really want to force it 
Yeah, exactly. And then life I, goes I, on. I don't like when people build too defensively because they're like, oh, if they all target me with everything, I need to never be in like lethal range. It's like, sometimes you're just going to die. Like, that's yeah. just it. They, teammates are going to deal with the damage if, if they all overcommit for you, hopefully. Yeah, if someone builds fully defensively, a lot of times, if you just ignore them, they don't do anything anyway. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, there's been a lot less of the chain dodging and shit in general. Yeah, they increase the dodge penalties, and what do you know? There's less dodging. Holy shit. But thank, there's, thank God. there's hella drop hackers. I'm just like getting these lobbies where my Q is... I, I get kicked out of Q when the when the lobby drops. Really? You guys get that? It's, I don't know. Mm, I, haven't no, but, I haven't had that. That's why they're installing Vanguard, because there's hella people who are just like drop hacking the lobby they have the scripts that show you like who's in the game so you can ban their one tricks if i already have my credit card info saved on the riot client do i still need vanguard because i assume that's why they want us to get it <laughs> yeah dude Riot's um Riot's gonna steal your money dude i'm i'm down fuck it dude just give 10 cent everything i own as long as there's no cheaters in my games <laughs> you say that Ironically, but it's okay. Obviously, not everything you own, but yeah. like deep level fucking anti cheats for the sake of yeah. removing all hackers is fucking good. I don't know. Like you need something to go deeper on the hackers. That's yeah. like the whole like trading your freedom for safety. Yeah, I'll trade that. Yeah, video my, games, man. my freedom like, video for sure. It's not that fucking serious, bro. Like, we need to get the cheaters out of here. Uh, what are they gonna do? You're if trading, a, you're trading your computer's you. privacy for safety. My freedom. Know what they could be doing. Yeah, my I'm totally at risk of my freedom for sure. <laughs> what the yeah, the, the freedom to not have kernel. Vanguard. My liberty, my democracy. Holy shit! Look at Monsters <laughs> Cluster mechanics. That was crazy. He fucking yeah. swam up the wave and. Shit a spear out on them. Dude, I hate the argument of like, but there's still cheaters in Valorant, even with the like super deep level anti cheat. Like, Valorant is the game that is the least, the, the most competitive FPS that is the least plagued by cheaters. Have you yeah, ever played yeah. like Warzone or like any game? I tried to play Battlefield 5. This game is like fucking like 10 <laughs> years old. It's ancient history. Half the games have a cheater in it. Like, every <laughs> other FPS has the Tarkov, most dog bro. shit anti Tarkov. And Valorant has the absolute best. It's so bad. Like, cheaters are such a fucking plague on this world. Fuck yourselves. Yeah. Like, nope. just, like, play, like, PUBG or some shit back in the day. And there's just someone killing you from across the map through six mountains. They can't even see you. And you're like, nice game. Yep. I think there actually needs to be, like, laws against making cheats for games. I think it. I think it's getting that way, right? Like, um, I really hope so. In China, they put they put them in a work camp. Yeah, I, I think you're like never seen from again, and when you come back into society, like you're missing a kidney. If you're, <laughs> if you're like, <laughs> how are you, how do you come back if you're? Oh, that was a good auto reset. Oh. Okay, tactical. Oh. Um, I mean, they are punishing the bad boys. We got a gold card. The shit's been fucked. Ooh, we didn't hit. Busio's dead. Are Mayo's just getting fucking Armeo's rained getting down by an Udyr? What is just a horrible way to die? Yeah. Uh -oh. oh! Oh, but now he's weak. He took the TF body. No, he gets the gold card. Uh -oh. How did Inspired lock in the gold card so smoothly with his smooth jungle brain? What's God going damn. on? Someone check in PC. The Colonel is activated. We could trio flex. I'll play Tarek. You play Nasus. We have the two worst chances. Wait, is this the ability <laughs> order? To win. You go E second on Udyr? Mm, the normal? That's not what I normally see. I don't know, man. I, I've tried, like, actually every ability second on Udyr, like U, W, E. What the I fuck do you w, get from the E? I don't know. I actually like the E. You get quite a bit of move speed, and then the cooldown on the same target that, for which you can stun him gets lower. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's good. I don't know. The, the move speed definitely makes it feel like it's easier to connect with people. And I don't know. Turtle doesn't really get that much. Rank, it's decent, but it's 
It's never like the shield's that massive. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. It looks like it's scaling. It's just fucking levels and your own HP. Your max HP. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, Tactical's making a play. No. Ooh, Inspired is fucking dead. <clears throat> Dude, isn't it weird we can't see the stun durations on Spectator? Don't we, do we normally see why? why is why is half of IMT dead? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, my eyeballs. <laughs> do, do we normally see stun duration? I feel like we do. Yeah, I, we, we definitely do. Because, like, Udyr just got stunned. He just looks like he's standing there. Yeah. Can't even tell when someone's hit by anything. How is Tactical running around when he's dead for 42? <laughs> Can they really contest this down three members? Wait, Masu's getting fucked. Masu's in there, what? Oh! oh! How, did he, how did he end up in that position? Gold card on Jensen! He's stunned! Wait, what's happening? Oh! Inspired is winning this. They're all just like taking the models. Immortals is winning. Look what Inspired is doing. It's Wait. dirty. Wait. The gold card! Oh my god, they're like not! No, no, it, yeah, they're, they're not. not. Inspired just reset three times in a row. I like, told you, dude, T TF literally can't kill a deer. <laughs> just physically impossible. Physically impossible. It legit is. <laughs> Especially with this build, like, he does not yeah, do not actual pumper. damage. I don't know what this build is. This can't be real. Uh, I mean, he got fucked so hard in the lane that I think most builds would look pretty bad. Yeah. But I also don't not agree with the build. I called it too early. I thought they were going to look for the end of the game, but Immortals are able to hold maybe for one last time. To be honest, I think you should build to your champion's strengths most of the time. And if, if you're trying to, like, overcome the weaknesses by, like, Doing some random shit where you're like full, full on focus on tank killing. It probably wasn't the right game to play TF. Yeah. I, I respect this build. I don't think it's bad. Maybe. I mean, I just I think. Like double I think that much. Kraken is pretty insane. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Sorry. My fucking mic condom fell off and hit the space bar. Yo, what? Pop filter. I, does he ever die? I, I don't think he ever dies here. No. <laughs> Just got, oh, wait, numerically he impossible to die. No. Whoa. Dude, because uh, Dante do took know? someone for a ride there. He does. He does have Ocean Soul? Oh, yeah, they do. I, I see an Ocean Soul on him. Yeah, I mean, I, I just look top left. Look at this useless health pot taking on these guys. Yeah, man. Somehow I'm able to live through the TF. <laughs> been dead for 42 seconds. How the TF electrifying you. What is this? Just some budget cuts. Uh, oh my god. A triple kill? Fucking owned by the Zonia, dude. <laughs> he literally just got the tankiest <sighs> shit you can. Frozen Heart. Kanek, Rookern, Jack Show. Who, dear? Yeah. Sounds right. A lot of the teams that are supposed supposed to, you know, not be great, like um, Shopify and Dig, they're pretty strong, but I'm not sure how strong Immortals really is. Joseph Jang, the GM of uh, of of Hundred Thieves, was telling me he was watching their game through our co stream, <laughs> and I'm trying to remember what were we talking about during their during their game. I I don't even remember. Were you mm. talking about the game? Probably not. Mm. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. 